Well, hey, hey, welcome to Live with Lynn. So if you're here, say hi. So I know you're here. And if you're watching the replay, be sure to re type replay. Um, today, I want to talk about Hope Lodge. Um, Hope Lodge is my give back for the month. You know, recently I started a give back program where I'm giving back to the community by sharing my commission to an important cause. You know, to me, this is this I, I am all about appreciation and gratitude and giving back. And I um, just decided to do this every month. I'm going to pick a new organization. And this month, and since it's the end of the month, so the rest of this month and then September is going to be for Hope Lodge. But, you know, it's it's. Um, I just want to tell you a little bit about Hope Lodge. I want to tell you why I chose them, why I'm supporting them, why I really believe in their cause. You know, you go back a little bit, go back to 1977. That was a long time ago, 40 some odd years ago. I was a um, very young mom, single mom, and my daughter got deathly ill. She got had a temperature of 108, 108. She was going to be, she was not quite two. She, it was Christmas. It was um, early December, 2000, I mean, I'm sorry, 1977. My daughter was going to be two in February. So she was like three months, three, four months short of being two. And she had a temperature of 108. And um, she was having seizures. And you know, I mean, I, I rushed her to the hospital, and um, they kept they they couldn't figure out what was wrong with her. But they kept telling me that you know a child can't survive a temperature of 108. And um, they they did you know they did tests. At one point, they did a spinal tap on her, and I I, I swear to God, I I sat outside the room while they were doing the spinal tap. I listened to her scream the entire time. And um, my mom was literally holding me down. I was going to go tear those doctors off of her. But then shortly after that, she fell into a coma. And she was in a coma for three months. And, you know, she was supposed to die. My daughter didn't die. It was a miracle. She survived. And she's healthy still to this day. It was a miracle. But, you know, during that time, I have never felt so alone in my entire life. Um, she didn't have cancer. She had what was called homophilus influenza is what it turned out, which turned into spinal meningitis. They now have a, a vaccine for that. But back then they didn't, they barely knew what it was. But, you know, I was so alone. I, my mom was there that one night, but my mom didn't, she didn't drive. She worked. Um, so she wasn't there most of the time. Most of the time I was alone at the hospital and I was terrified. I was afraid that if I left the hospital, she wouldn't be there when I came back. And so I know what that feels like. I know what it feels like to go through something like this without support. And, you know, Hope Lodge, they give the support. They give support to patients. You know, if you have to, if you live more than, I think it's 40 miles away, you can stay in a Hope Lodge while you're getting your treatment. You can, um, you know, they, they give you things like they, they can help you get a ride to your treatment. Um, they have... Um, support there for you. They have volunteers who come in to help you. They have, you know, private guest rooms where you can share rooms and bathrooms. I mean, you have your own room and your bathroom. And they have a library and resource room. They have like um, areas where you can congregate with other cancer patients, other people who are going through this. They have all kinds of things. Volunteers that are there helping to um, make sure your stay is comfortable. And, you know, sometimes they even cook and provide meals for you. You're provided with your own kitchen area where you can cook your, your caregiver and you can cook your own meals, you know, whatever you're capable of doing. But the Hope Lodge staff is there. They're there to be, their, their commitment, their 100% commitment is to provide a nurturing home away from home for guests 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You know, and this Hope Lodge, it just amazes me when I look at what they've done. They've only been open for four years. And they've already served over 13,000 patients and given 45,000 um, nights of free lodging to cancer patients. That's 45,000 nights. Isn't that amazing? I mean, this, this Hope Lodge does some pretty amazing stuff. Um, and they make it so nobody has to go through cancer alone. And that, to me, is big. Um, you know, I, I don't ever want anybody to go through anything like what I went through with my daughter. She didn't have cancer, but, but still it's scary to go through something like that. That's that scary and not have a support system. And they give you that support system. You know, Richard and I visited the Hope Lodge here in Salt Lake and, um, we saw all the things that they were doing. It's an amazing center. And we talked to a couple of the patients and, you know, um, most of them lived 
you know, some of them live 50, 60 miles away. Some of them traveled from other states to come here. And having this place to support them as they were going through this treatment was such a blessing for them. I mean, we had people telling us their stories and how blessed they were to be there and how much they appreciated what they were receiving. We talked to one man who'd been there nine months already, and he'd gone through a horrendous journey. I mean, you know, and he was now finally recovering. But he cried. He cried when he told us about what a bless, blessing this was for him, that this was the only support he had, and, and they were there for him. And you guys, I just ripped my heart out. So um, let's make this happen. Can you help me? I need your help. I can't do it alone. I'm giving my commission, but I need your help. You know, let's let's just if you'll help me by by um, by just getting your everyday shopping of your beauty, personal care and gifts, stuff that you're buying anyway, that can help provide these critical services to these people. I'm giving 50 percent, 50 percent of my commission is going to Hope Lodge. That's huge, you guys. That's 50 percent of my commission. And the more that you help me, the more that we together can help Hope, Hope Lodge. So please help me spread the word. Can you please share this video, share this Facebook post or this Instagram post, wherever you Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. And have a great day. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.